Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna to be trying out some of your favorite makeup right now. I recently asked you guys here on YouTube actually in the community tab to tell me what you guys are loving, like what your favorite products are. And I went through and there was actually a few products here that several people mentioned, other products only a couple people mentioned or only one person mentioned. Regardless, it's all the things that you guys are into. So we're gonna be doing a full face. Somebody mentioned the Too Faced Hangover Pillow Bomb and I was like, wait a minute, I really love that. And it had been a while since I've used it. So I I actually applied it off camera so that it could have some time to sink into the lips. This is actually a really nice lip treatment. I find that it actually works really well and I was happy to be reminded of it because it's just been a long time. We're gonna do um, base first and then the eyes, I think. As I said that out loud, I changed my mind. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna do brows and then eyes because I'm gonna use a really pretty palette. So somebody mentioned the e.l.f. Brow Lift Gel, which is actually something that I've owned for a while, but I haven't really like gotten into it. What is happening to mine? Mine's like melting. What in the world? I feel like this is supposed to be clear, but mine's cloudy, I don't know. Several people love this stuff, so I'm gonna start off by brushing up my brows, which normally I don't do till later, but I learned this from Makeup by Kelly Ann, who I love, so I'll have her Instagram down below but she often does her brows first, especially when using a brow gel like this, like a pomade one. That way it has time to set and then you're able to like clean up around it, which I think is smart. I actually haven't tried it since learning that from her, but we're trying it today. So now I'm just taking a makeup wipe and I'm wiping away any of the excess product around the brow. And I'm gonna let that dry for a while before filling it in. We're gonna go into the Natasha Denona My Dream palette. This was actually mentioned a couple of times. Actually, the top mentioned palette, or there was a comment that was liked a few times, and it was for the ColourPop Bubbly palette, something bubbly. And I gave that away in a giveaway, and so I don't have that one to try, but this was another one that was mentioned quite a bit, the Natasha Denona My Dream palette, and it has been a minute since I've used it, so I wanted to today. Starting off with the shade Unity. Maybe I should use a primer. Yeah, I'm just gonna quickly throw on my NARS eyeshadow base really fast. Okay, now that that's blended out, I'm gonna take Unity and start to apply this into the crease as my transition shade. Next up, I'm gonna take the shade Carpe Diem, which is like a warm rose brown, and I'm gonna use that on the outer edge of the eye, blending the excess into the crease. I'm really drawn to this shade today, Invention. So I'm gonna take that on my fingertip, and I'm gonna apply that to the center of the lid. This is a really pretty like peachy gold duochrome. Wow, that looks so pretty on the eyes. I'm just continuing to build this up until it's pretty intense. I really like this color, so I want it to be a focal point of the look today. I'm gonna further define the outer edge with the shade Risk, which is like a burgundy brown shimmer shade. I normally don't do shimmer shades on the outer edge, but I think it could look really pretty connected to the kind of duochrome shadow we have on the lid. Okay, I'm going back to Unity, which was the shade we used in the transition area, and I'm wanting to lift the transition a little bit closer to the brows. I feel like it looks funny without my brows actually filled in, but we gotta just trust the process. I'm taking an angled brush and dipping into Edgy, which is a really pretty cream to powder purple shade, and I'm using this as eyeliner on the outer edge. I don't know, I thought purple eyeliner would be kind of a fun contrast with the orange. So I'm just building that up on the outer edge of the eye. Okay, now I'm gonna take my makeup wipe and just use that to clean up the edge of my eyeshadow, making sure to take my fingertip to kind of blend out the edges after I clean up the edge. Okay, I'm gonna kind of hop around a little bit. I'm gonna fill my brows. And somebody mentioned the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen, and it had been a while since I've used this. I love this product. Let's see, I have mine in the shade Ash Brown. So I'm gonna use this to fill in the brows. I'm just gonna fill in the gaps with this. After I kind of filled it in, I'm just gonna go through and brush it out so that there's not any harsh brow hair marks. All right, we're gonna use mascara. A few of you guys actually said that Rare Beauty Mascara is what you're loving right now. I know how much you guys love this. I feel like it's always mentioned when I do these videos where I ask you guys what you're loving right now. Rare Beauty always makes it in, especially this mascara. So I'm just gonna apply this to the top lashes for now and then we will move on to complexion. All right, let's move on to base. You guys are loving the Power Grip primers from e.l.f., so some of you mentioned specifically the niacinamide one, others mentioned just the original. I'm pretty familiar with the original, so I wanted to give the niacinamide one another try. I think I've tried this like once before, or maybe not, maybe I haven't. Yeah, it doesn't feel like I've tried this one. I, for some reason I thought I did. Okay, well, we're gonna try the niacinamide one. I'm just gonna apply this all over the face, focusing it in the T-zone though, where I have the largest pores. Definitely feels very grippy. This one feels nice and cooling. Okay, 
We're gonna let that sink in for a bit. The foundations that were most mentioned were really interesting. So we have actually a high-end foundation that was talked about a ton and a drugstore foundation that was mentioned a lot too. So the high-end foundation is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. A lot of you guys are saying that you're obsessed with this and it's such a good foundation, I don't blame you. The other one that you guys are loving for every day and just in general is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, like the new formula. So I am gonna use, hmm, I don't know. I feel like more people mentioned the House Labs, but I still wanna keep wearing this one. So do I mix them? Is that so? extra. That might be really extra of me. You know, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna mix them. The House Labs foundation is one that a little bit goes a long way. I made the mistake of using too much when I first got it and didn't love it that much. And then I learned to use less and now I'm obsessed. Here they are mixed half and half. So I'm gonna swirl that together on the back of my hand. We'll see what this does. Who knows? I'm just gonna blend this out all over the primer. Actually, it made a really, really nice texture. I'm just gonna press that into the skin. Sometimes I get nervous to mix foundations because they don't always work well together, but this actually mixed really well. And I think it looks really pretty on the skin. For concealer, a lot of you guys are still loving the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is one that I love as well, but it had just been a little too long since I've used it. So I was excited to dip back into this again. So I'm just gonna blend that out underneath my eyes with my sponge. One of you guys said you are loving the NARS Cream Bronzer. And I was like, wait, I love that formula too. And it had been too long since I've used this. So this is the Laguna Bronzer, um, the shade Laguna One specifically. I'm just gonna use this to cream contour and kind of warm up the skin before we set things with powder. I love this shade on me. It gives a beautiful sculpt and warmth to the skin without looking overdone. And the formula kind of like blends itself out, which is really nice. Okay, that is truly a stunning cream bronzer. I'm so excited to keep using this. I need to leave it on my desk. It used to sit on my desk and it was one of my favorites to reach for, but it's just been too long. That blended out so beautifully. I love how it looks. You guys are also still loving the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I couldn't find my original one. It's somewhere. I just have the blur one, but I think you guys were talking about just the original. The blurring one is one of my favorites though. I love the original as well, but I feel like it does actually blur even more than the original one does. And I just really love it. So I'm just gonna set the face with this. I'm using a puff for the T-zone. And then I'm just gonna take a brush on the outsides of the face just to lightly set that. But I do have another powder that I'm gonna use because you guys said to. I'm always reminded at how much you love the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. It's something that's not really a part of my daily routine. And you guys always remind me to dig into these every time I film these types of videos. So this is just the Ambient Lighting Palette. And I'm just gonna give my face a little bit of a glow, especially on the outsides of the face and under the eye area. Okay, you guys are also still loving one of my favorite products. This is the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer. So I'm just gonna add a bit of this on top of the cream just to kind of set the face further and to add a bit more warmth. All right, we're gonna hop back to eyes. Actually, yeah, we are. <laughs> First, I'm taking the shade Risk and applying that right here on the outer third of the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take the shade Spontaneous and apply that on the inner portion of the lower lash line, combining it with the shade we just applied on the outer edge. This color actually I'm gonna add in the inner corner as well. I think it'll make a really nice inner corner highlight. Then I'm gonna take the brush that I used with the shade Unity. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that and I'm gonna pinch the brush and apply this almost like a transition shade on the lower lash line. I don't wanna do too much on the lower lash line today. I don't know, I just like where it's at. So I'm gonna go back into the Rare Beauty Mascara and just apply that to the lower lashes. Okay, I really meant to use the Rare Beauty blush when my face was not set with powder, but this still works on top of powder, so we're gonna use it anyway. You guys, of course, are loving the Rare Beauty blushes still. I feel like this is a blush that will be forever loved. So I'm gonna take this and just start applying it to the outer portions of the face. This is the shade Hope, which is a gorgeous kind of everyday rosy pink. Picking that up on a Thrive Cosmetics blush brush, which I actually love for applying cream blushes. I just feel like it distributes it very evenly. I'm feeling so glowy and summery in this look so far, which is so nice. I'm craving summer more than ever, you guys. It snowed again. It's April and it's like, there's no sign of spring here in Utah. <laughs> this is supposed to be like the craziest winter Utah has ever had in history. It's crazy. I'm ready for some sunshine. 
Okay, I'm just using a little bit of what's left on my powder puff to kind of set the apples of the cheeks because I wanted to also try out the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush. I bought this a while ago with the intention of trying it and I hadn't yet. And then one of you guys said that you're really liking this, so I wanted to give it a go. This color I bought is um, Pink Flush. Ooh, very pretty, very glowy. It has very obvious glitter specks in the pan, but I'm wondering if that translates at all. Oh yeah, you see some glitter, but it's not as intense as it looks in the pan. Pretty, okay. I'm going back over with my foundation brush just to kind of soften the blush slightly. My lips feel so hydrated. I'm gonna wipe off any foundation that got on the lips as well as the excess product. We're gonna do a lip look. So let's see, you guys are loving the Rare Beauty lip liners. Let's use, I mean, my go-to is always the shade Humble. Humble and Worthy, I think, are my two favorites. I like how this one looks with the eye color. I was excited that somebody said they're really into the Fenty Beauty Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. I've only tried one of them and it's been a minute. So this is from the Super Bowl collection, but you can buy this now. Um, this is in the shade Riri. This is their liquid lipstick, which is supposed to be really, really comfy. So I'm just gonna apply this all over the lips. I seriously applied the smallest amount and I'm just blending it in with my finger. Okay, and then I really had to try one of the NYX Fat Lip Drip Lip Oils. This is something that was mentioned several times and my Ulta was sold out of several colors. So I just grabbed the clear one to try today, especially since I knew I was gonna layer it on top of the Fenty Beauty one. So I'm gonna put some of this on the back of my hand. I love the packaging though, it's really fun. I just don't wanna get the applicator bright pink. So I'm just gonna take this on my finger and press that on top of the Fenty liquid lipstick. Ooh, it gives great shine. It also tastes really good. That's nice. I really wanna try some of the pink shades because I feel like they would look so nice by themselves, but this one's really gorgeous on top of other lip products. Let's assess the situation. I'm gonna add a little more bronzer. And then I was really excited that somebody mentioned the Cali Ray Surf Proof Setting Spray. I had just recently received this in PR and I've been wanting to try it. So I was really excited to hear that someone was obsessed with this. This is a hydrating and long wear setting spray. So I'm gonna shake it before use, that's what it says. Okay. Ooh, the mist is so fine. Okay, I'm gonna spray this all over. Wow. Very nice applicator. I'm gonna let that dry down a bit. Once it's almost dry, you guys know, I love to take my sponge and just press that into the skin. I feel like this is a very summery look. I wouldn't normally go this bright with my lip when my eyes and cheeks look like this, but honestly, I'm not mad at it. I kind of like how it looks together. All right, you guys, so that completes this makeup look. I feel so glowy, my skin looks so healthy, and also I feel very inspired for summer. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a few of the things that you are loving right now. And I have to say, I always love doing these videos because I'm reminded of how fabulous so many of these products are. I think the things that are really standing out to me that I'm excited to keep using again, I guess, is the NARS bronzer. I loved how that blended out. The lip oil feels amazing on the lips, so I'm really excited to try more of these NYX lip oils. Also, for some reason, the Cali Ray setting spray, I feel like that really left my skin so pretty and dewy. Of course, I'm gonna have to keep trying that to see how it actually helps my makeup wear. But yeah, I feel like overall, Everything looks really beautiful together. I love how glowy my skin looks from the hourglass powders as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love how my makeup turned out. If you didn't get a chance to tell me what your number one product was on that post, let me know in the comments down below. I love hearing from you guys and it's so fun to read through your comments to hear your recommendations, you know, cause I'm just one person and I love to hear your expertise, your insights and your product recommendations as well. So be sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know also if any of these products that I mentioned are what you're loving right now. Let me know what you agree with or maybe even disagree with as far as the products that I use today. I would love to hear. And yeah, that's it for me today. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you.